I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. <laughs> yes, Baron. Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So, I'm gonna try that from now on here in the U.S. Really? <laughs> yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. No! But that's the appeal of it. And you know what I always say? I do always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Yes, that's the one. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently?
after the pay-per-view, be sure to check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox, which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. They shut it down? Damn it! Triple H, it had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other and thanks to him, no one's seen it. I don't want to stop the match. There's still a live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! Apparently, we're having some issues with our pay-per-view stream. It might even be down completely. If anyone can still hear this, we apologize, and we're trying to find out what's going on. Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. What? Did the site crash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean... We hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? 
And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Cole. You got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. No. Oh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. <laughs>